The strength of the civil engineering tech program is that we have very much hands-on training of a wide variety of the civil engineering uh, curriculum. It develops the student to understand what's happening with the, inside the curriculum, what's happening in the field. What we do is we give them the practical aspects of the field. If you start off in an engineering school, sometimes you just get theoretical aspects and you never know the practical aspects. You give them a practical background so when they go on to the four-year uh, degree school, they're talking about uh, concrete design and concrete mixes. They've actually mixed concrete and they've designed concrete before they get to the course that talks about the theory of it. One thing I think the students need to know if they're going to come into this program, they're going to have to have a decent math background. They have to eventually take the introductory course to calculus. It's a kind of a intense program mathematically, uh, but we use most of the algebra and trig, and then they have to take physics. Um, but the reason for that is because they need that background when they take their design courses. Some of the core classes would be things like in drafting, in AutoCAD, and also uh, surveying. They have a couple courses in surveying for uh, developing just the basic survey and then the brute surveying on top of that. In our surveying courses, we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have equipment that is beyond the role of most colleges. We have electronic distance measuring machines, we have total stations, and we have global positioning equipment. All the courses that are offered during the day is offered sometime during the night in uh, uh, about every every other year the program is offered. If you're going to go to night school, it's probably going to take you four to five years to go through the program. So we got 78 here, so it's the southeast. A good proportion of our students are right out of high school, then we have uh, some that are transferred here to finish their uh, diploma or transfer here to pick up some more courses to go on to the four-year degree. At least one-third of our students go on to their four-year degree. Another third will go to work for the government, and another third will go to work in the industry doing investigations or soil sampling or testing or gathering information. Most of the jobs that come, they come out after graduating in the civil engineering tech program, uh, they work for engineering firms where they might be doing inspection on buildings and job sites. They might be working as a CAD draftsman uh, in the engineering firm doing odds and ends. They might go work for a testing laboratory where they'll be testing soils that have been brought to the lab for various strengths and uh, gradations and stuff for building aspects and also concrete testing from the testing lab. We had a lot of people end up working with DLT in the field doing inspections. You're going to pick up everything you can see in this area, all the sidewalks, the building. I know when they leave here, they know their material. They understand what's out there, and they can understand that they're ready to really grow. And they'll have the base knowledge to continue their education that way and continue developing their skills in the fields.